What's up guys, Goro here, and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today, oh, there is so much content yet again. Black Friday is coming upon us very, very shortly. Best of campaigns are coming into packs today, plus plenty of other content, so we're going to check it all out. If you guys are new to the channel, yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. With that being said, let's go hop into today's 6pm content. And so, here we go now. One thing that did pop up, I was talking there. Mr. Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland and Hansen are in packs yet again for over a week. So we're going to hop straight into things. The brand new season is upon us. I did release a TikTok about it. Uh, it was literally just showing you the rewards first thing this morning. Um, same with the tweet. I'm kind of a bit disappointed that there was no packs. Uh, it's only players. Sorry, there's no players. It's only packs, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, one of them. Uh, you've recently obtained packs from Ultimate Team in-game store, which displayed conflicting information. Uh, about the tradability status. As a result, we return the amount of FC points and or ultimate team coins you use to obtain the affected pack. So instead of EA giving us packs, instead they gave us our money back. Which means I've just been given a free 1,300 thief points. Now, I think that was for in Trailblazers because that, that was the only thing that was 1,300 thief points. But fair play to EA. Uh, at least when they make the mistakes, they're going to do it that way around instead. Rashford's now also in packs. We will check out, obviously, EA's Twitter because they should have tweeted out what we got. But, yeah, in terms of the season, just plenty of packs. Lots of fodder packs, which I absolutely love. You know, level 15 and 82 times 20. That's going to be massive. If you guys are saving for Team of the Year, this will be absolutely huge. A road to the knockout, Trailblazers or Centurions or Trophy... Not Trophy Titans. What would TT be? Don't even know what that is. But anyway, whatever that is, the fact that you're able to get that as a player pick, I think is incredible. Obviously, the 83 times 20 is also there, plus the 87 times 3 for level 25. And then again, just different bits and bobs. Um, I think if you get to level 26, there's an objective for it, um, which is somewhere. Is it in seasonal? I think it's down here. Um, yeah, the level 26 bonus. So if you've got that attached and then you basically play 50 games, you get all these bonus packs. Max Verstappen, well, clearly something to do with him. Uh, interesting. And then plenty more XP to grind. So loads of stuff that you guys can do. Now, as you can see, I've got 900 XP because I saved all of my possible XP that I could uh, and didn't claim it. And so therefore, I got some bonus. So really, really clever. Um, if you guys can do that next season, it is worth doing. Trust me. Just to get that little bit of an advantage, it is absolutely worthwhile doing. So, that is it for objectives. Not too much, but again, no shock. Nothing in Evos, which again, kind of didn't expect. I reckon Thunderstruck tomorrow will provide that for us. So, the question is, what's in SBCs and packs? The daily login, of course, is back. We're going to leave that for now because we know what that is. We have... Do we have anything good? The Black Friday Challenge 1. So, again, another challenge for a 25k pack. Yesterday, we had three of them. They didn't really make bronzes and silvers go up, so I was a little bit disappointed. But anyway, it is what it is. Another road to the knockout of Trailblazers pack, of course. Team of the Week picks are still there. Marquee matchups is out, which is great. A solo to squad upgrade. This is repeatable for the next seven days. It is. Oh. An 85 rated player or higher gets you a goal pack. I don't think it's worth it. Somebody's going to have to try this out to tell me if it's worth it or not, but I don't think it is. Also, an 83 times 10 pack three times a day for one segment of an 83 rated team in the team of the week is fantastic. Because if you pack a team of the week, this is basically free to do. Um, the 83 rated team, you will get back straight away. This is actually one of the most reasonable and well-priced SBCs EA have done. So fair play on them doing that. Once you get the first 83 rated team, it should be easy from there. It just is the team of the week that you need. So plenty... And I mean plenty of upgrade SBCs to do. There is no lack of content right now. Maybe player SBCs, but to be honest with you, next week we're going to get plenty of them. And we've already had so many so far, it is no shock. Best of campaigns are here. So Haaland, De Bruyne, Mbappe, Hansen, Saka, Ozzyman, Pop, Bruno Fernandes, Musiala, Smith, Cancelo, Benucci, Rashford, Cristiano Ronaldo, Rafael Liao, Ward, Prowse, Kalulu, and Mendy are all in packs. As well as the best of team of the week as well as the normal team of the week. And then tomorrow, we have even more players coming into packs. This is absolutely crazy, the fact that we've got so much. A global limit. So these are clearly the lightning rounds are going into here. 
Um, 35 red gold items, two guaranteed to be 85 rated or higher. For a thousand thief points, isn't bad, and we might open one of them, depending on what else is here. We have the energizer pack, it is 10 coins. And for this, we get some items. We're going to see what we get. Um, overall, it, it, it's, it's tough to say, but yeah, you're actually doing really well with content recently. Gameplay isn't great, and I will be honest with you, that is a thing that left a lot of people down. However, it's actually not that bad. Um, everybody doesn't seem to be happy about the gold upgrade for an 85 rated, which I kind of understand. I don't think it's worth it either. Um, but... Is it because people are going to get a lot of fodder over the next few weeks and don't have anywhere to put it because they only might have one or two cards? Possibly that's why EA have done it. I'm not too sure. Um, in terms of the rest of the promo packs, EA have changed the way that this looks as well. So it's not even like in order anymore. This is a season opener encore pack. It includes one Road to the Knockout Trailblazers or Centurions, not including icons. Player pick item, one of two. All items are untradeable. So I think this is player picks. On top of that, we've got the hero pack coming in. Dynamic Duo Heroes pack. Um, items rated 86 or higher, which is fair play to EA. Some of the worst ones are out of this pack, which is good. 20 gold rares as well. We may do this in tomorrow's stream. We'll be live tomorrow morning fairly early at 9am. I think what we're going to do here is this. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what it's like. And we've got the FIFA points for it because we got them given back. So I want to see what we get. It is going to be... Yeah, um, we're just going to take Benucci and finish off the video there. Let me know what you guys are getting in your packs down below. For now, that's where we're going to leave it for today on a very good day of content. I'm out. Peace.